Hello everyone, I am Dr. Velichet Sandeep. I am going to present an interesting case of subacute sclerosing panencephalitis. 14 years old female presented with myoclonic jerks. Slight drowsiness is also there, but predominant presentation is myoclonic jerks. Two weeks back, she has suffered with fever, no COVID, uh, neg COVID negative. Uh, it has considered to be uh, enteric fever based on the laboratory investigations. EEG has been ordered based on the uh, this jerks, uh, but it is still waiting while we did this MRI. T1 weighted uh, uh, inversion recovery is in the protocol for the epilepsy. So, this we have done. This is showing uh, significant T1 hypo intensity in the parietal lobes asymmetrically. The rest of the uh, T1 findings are looking normal. But flare is showing much more larger area of hyperintensity extending from periventricular region up to subcortical white matter predominantly involving the U fibers with and relatively sparing the cortex without significant mass effect on the adjacent uh, ventricular system. In addition, subtle bilateral symmetrically hyperintensities uh, uh, not uh, uh, symmetrical hyperintensities are seen involving periventricular region. Flare uh, slightly inferior image is also showing extension of this lesion inferiorly along with bilateral symmetrical periventricular areas of hyperintensities. Uh, gray water is relatively spread, few punctate hyperintensities also noted at uh, other lobes as well. The same picture coronal it is showing periventricular area of hyperintensity extending up to gray uh, up to subarticular U fibers or involving the subcortical U fibers. Diffusion weighted imaging is showing some hyperintensity, but they are not really significantly showing reduced ADC values. So, no true restriction on diffusion weighted images. Post contrast, it is not showing any significant enhancement, no meningeal and parenchymal enhancement at these lesions, uh, uh, at these lesions are in the rest of the brain parenchyma. So, the diagnostic possibility in our mind is these four acute disseminated encephalomyelitis. Uh, because there is some history of some fever uh, and infection in the last month. Autoimmune encephalitis we have ordered for that uh, panel also along with this investigation which came negative later. Uh, subacute sclerosing pan encephalitis based on the myoclonic jerks and some vague history of measles in the uh, childhood we have advised this. Direct encephalitis from the virus is less likely. Uh, mm, uh, because uh, there is no obvious areas of restriction or diffusion, patient is not that sick. Adam also usually does not present such a large areas of patches. So, uh, the leading possibility we considered among this is uh, uh, SSP. So, we have ordered many investigations from the CSF especially uh, measles IgG antibody test which came as a positive. Titer for IgG is positive 625. The pattern is more in favor of SSPE. They have advised us to correlate with EEG and clinical features. Subacute so, sclerosing panencephalitis is a brief review. It, it is predominantly white matter disease. It can be asymmetrical, it can be symmetrical, it can be periventricular region, subcortical region. So, rarely it can involve uh, the gray matter. Sometimes it involves uh, uh, the gray matter. Uh, it may enhance rarely, usually it does not. It comes primarily in children and young, young adults. After uh, uh, measles infection, a, a sort of immune resistant measles virus, uh, but it comes not immediately with the latency period of uh, 4 to 23 years. So, mean age of presentation is uh, 9 to 13 years of age, but it can uh, present at young adult age also. SSP is a neurodegenerative disorder, persistent infection of the brain in a, some altered form. What triggers, what in what way it persists, also it is the mechanism is not very clear. EEG shows characteristic periodic slow wave complexes uh, which are sometimes diagnostic. Another patient similar, but in this patient is much more periventricular pattern like HIV pattern, periventricular bilateral symmetrical hyperintensity demyelination pattern. This is also proved by CSF test and the EEG test. So, uh, uh, this is also one of the classical pattern of SSP. Thank you very much for your at kind attention.